A family that lost their only son to a drunk driver settles a lawsuit against a convenience store that sold alcohol to the driver before the crash. The News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo has been following this Cleveland family's fight for justice. She joins us now with the details. Brianna. Kim Latricia, Dustin Lepford's parents want their story to serve as a reminder this holiday. They are the first family in Tennessee to go after a convenience store for selling alcohol that led to their son's death. Loving parents still hurting from loss are resting just a little easier today. I am just so glad that somebody has stepped up to the plate and took responsibility. A drunk driver took Dustin Ledford's life in 2010. His parents, Kim and Danny, showing us the horrific crash images for the first time. We needed some closure. Following a lawsuit, convenience store owners now accept some blame for selling the driver alcohol. Investigators found the driver that hit Dustin was three times over the legal limit. I wanted um, them to, and, and other convenience stores, to realize that they cannot sell to somebody that's already intoxicated and not think that there's going to be a consequence. The family's attorney says suing Dalton Pike Market was tough given Tennessee's code. This is the only example of which I am aware that a person who's been harmed or injured or killed has a burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt that it was the dispensing of the alcohol which was the approximate cause of the loss. The outcome holds this convenience store to the same standard as a bar overselling alcohol to a patron. That was the case in Chattanooga at Fanatic Sports Bar when a man crashed his car and died after drinking at the bar. I was told that we were the first family, I believe, in the state of Tennessee that has ever gone after a convenience store. And um, I, I think the laws do need to be Tougher. Logan tells me the Cleveland store and the Ludfords settled for an undisclosed amount of money. You know, I've said all along that this wasn't about money, not at all, because I've, I've told Mr. Logan I would live in a cardboard box if we could have Dustin back, but that's not a possibility. And one Dalton Pike Market owner told me over the phone that he did not know the driver, Tiffany Izaza, was intoxicated when they made the sale. The Ledford said that they will continue fighting for Dustin's law, which could give tougher penalties to drunk drivers. Kim. Brianna, thank you very much.